Hi, I'm June Pataleta from Moodle HQ, and uh, today I would like to give a, give an update about our journey to on the road to a more accessible Moodle. So, just a recap: uh, three years ago, um, we kicked off the accessibility audit project for Moodle LMS. Uh, th that time, we were developing 3.9, and uh, the way we did the audit is um, having 20 representative pages in Moodle and then accessibility testing was performed on these pages uh, involving automated and manual testing um, and the manual testers are, are uh, people with uh, different uh, disabilities like visual impairments and mobility impairments and um, there were like 14, 49 issues uh, raised uh, in this um, from this audit uh, that, that we fixed in um, the EPIC MDL 68688. And on July, uh, during the Moot Global 2020, I presented our progress in this project from, yeah, from the, on the first part of this uh, presentation. <laughs> so this is the second part, yeah. As a recap, um, we, the project, the goals of, of that project is basically to make Moodle more accessible by default, um, fix the accessibility issues raised in the audit, um, mainly level A and level AA only, um, and of course achieve uh, WCAG 2.1 level AA accreditation. And uh, we also aim to fix this uh, fix by the release of Moodle 3.9. So basically we were, we were able to achieve all of this uh, except for the part of fixing all of the issues. We were able to fix all of the issues by 3.10. And um, um, by November 2020, we were we were given the uh, accessibility um, accreditation. Cool. So what happens is then job done. No, not really. So, yeah. Um, of course, our job is not done. Um, we have more accessibility audits performed um, in semi in a semi annual fashion. So we um, had um, 3.11 audited in 2021 and we got the accreditation in 2021. We had 4.0 uh, audited in 2022, and this May we finally got the accreditation for it. Um, and then um, quite recently, about a, a month ago, we had 4.2 audited, and we are currently in progress uh, about fixing this, uh, the issues raised from this audit. So as usual, the page selection consists of 20 uh, representative pages um, with from existing features and new features of the Moodle version being audited. Cool. Uh, sure. Now some insights from the past audits. So we had four audits. I think we had. I can present some insights now. <laughs> but before that, um, uh, I will be grouping these insights or basically charts later <laughs> into based on the four main principles of web content accessibility. So first, web content must be uh, perceivable, or in other words, um, they are they should be accessible to, accessible to everyone, even to people who are blind or deaf. Um, operable um, user uh, interface elements should be accessible, um, not just by mouse or touch, but also by especially by keyboard. Um, understandable, uh, we should be like presenting information um, that's easy to understand, um, like um, especially presenting error messages uh, in, an, in a simple language that um, the user can understand. Um, robust, so the content must be consistent enough that it would, that would, it would allow various uh, user agents or including assistive technologies to um, work um, consistently, yeah, like screen readers reading, different screen readers reading the content in a consistent manner. So yeah, in terms of perceivable, um, so these are basically the issues that we encountered uh, under the principle of perceivability, uh, level A. So the x-axis represent the um, success criteria, WCAG 2.1 success criteria. And then the y-axis represent the number of pages affected that did not quite meet those uh, the criteria. 
um, the bars are the Moodle versions that uh, that uh, were affected, like the blue ones, the 3.9, uh, red 3.11, for yellow 4.0, and green is a uh, 4.2. I might be skipping in, in some points. <laughs> so yeah, um, the main issues we encountered early on uh, relate to use of color. So. Some, um, for example, focus indicator. We we did not have good enough focus in indicator at that time. Um, in foreign relationships, basically, uh, for example, the hidden focusable elements like hidden skip links, or for example, um, elements missing labels. Um, text alternatives, like for example, um, icon buttons without any text. Uh, label so screen reader users don't really know what's going on with those buttons. So yeah, uh, yeah. As you can see, um, we, we seem to be improving. So for 3.9, 3.11, and um, we had some color issues, but for the uh, succeeding audits, there's uh, there's better. <laughs> no no issues were reported. And in terms of informed relationships, um. Uh, we had some spike in 4.0 because we revamped the navigation and um, course homepage at that time. So it's kind of expected. But after that, it's hopefully it's downward trend again. Cool. And in terms of perceivable level AA, um, yeah, our main issues that uh, we were kind of uh, encountered are related to um, color contrast um, and then non text contrast another example is the, is the focus indicator um, not having enough contrast uh, against the elements that are being focused um, we also encountered issues related to reflow and resizing text uh, and especially when the for example when the page is zoomed to 200% or 400% the the page doesn't look quite uh, okay so we had to fix those issues as well and uh, text spacing, for example. Um, so if you resize the the page, if you zoom the page, then the, some texts are like overflowing or overlapping, so it's not good. So we had to fix them as well. Cool. Uh, yeah. In in terms of operability, our main issues are related to keyboard navigation and then especially uh, focus order. So the focus order issues were caused by elements having a uh, tab index of greater than zero. This is not good because it messes with the natural tab order of the, of the page. Um, yeah, another cause of this issue relates to uh, ordering of elements visually but uh, by CSS. When they are actually um, rendered in a different manner in the H HTML. So for example, um, the messaging button before and the notifications button, um, you will see that the notification button comes first before the messaging button. But you, if you tab to those buttons, the messaging button gets tabbed first instead of, of the notifications button. So uh, that's an example of that um, uh, issue. Um, pointer can cancellation, basically, um, it's about um, down key down or mouse down events causing actions um, um, and uh, prevent, preventing the user from um, cancelling uh, what the actions uh, bypass blocks the skip links a big <laughs> post stop hide this like this is the animating drag, drag and drop uh, icon in the file picker we had to replace this with a fixed one. Um, page titled, uh, this is a recent one uh, found in the, that was raised in the 4.2 audit uh, because um, we had some page titles that are, that are not specific enough. Um, for example, the grade book pages, uh, the single view user report, grader report, um, they had the same uh, page title like, like grades view. So it's not, it's not clear to the users which specific grade report they are viewing. So we kind of uh, failed this one and are fixing this. I, I think we, it already got fixed in the recent uh, weekly re release. Ah, cool. Ooh. Operable. <laughs> Level AA. Uh, yeah, this is our like main scourge, like uh, focusing uh, 
um, LMS that are not using the uh, the Moodle browser uh, focus indicator. Uh, uh, so if if uh, so some elements are that are like fo using the default browsers focus indicator. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, uh, this is problematic, especially for if the browser does not meet this uh, criterion. So it can cause issues for us, for especially for users. Um, so we had to make sure that um, all the focusable elements are using the consist the standard Moodle uh, focus indicator for Moodle elements. Cool, uh, understandable. Yeah. Um, our main issues here that we encountered here relate to like uh, missing labels or not good enough in instructions. Um, yeah, on focus and on input, for example, yeah, just like actions triggering on focus or in on input, uh, which is like the drop down menu. So we sh we have to make them expand only on demand, like when the user explicitly clicks on it or enter, pressing or press enter. Yeah, and this this part in language of parts is like um, basically it affects a lot of pages because it's in the user menu, it's in the language selector, so it's just a missing line attribute in the language menu options, which is easy to fix. Cool. Then robust. Um, yeah, the main issue we encountered here relates to parsing. Um, so we had to make sure that we are rendering valid HTML. But uh, note that in WCAG 2.2, uh, when it gets released, this parsing uh, requirement will be like um, phased out or removed because uh, assistive technologies are basically better now that they, won't, they don't need to directly uh, parse the HTML. Um, another main issue here that we encounter is the name role value. Basically, if it relates to like the missing labels too, because if you if you if you don't if you don't if you have a missing label for a form element, for example, this also fails. Status messages um, not enough feedback to the user when performing an action. So, for example, when indenting uh, a, uh, an activity, um, you can see that it's indenting visually, but for certain users, they don't know what happened. So we had to fix this as well. So those are the main issues that we encountered in these past four audits. So uh, I'd like to share some key takeaways from this. So I, can, I think I can confidently say that we have come a long way since Moodle 3.9. Um, we are more accessible now. But even if this is the case, we are still learning. There's still so much to learn. And our promise to the community is to, that we will continue to strive to improve um, by having an accessibility first mindset, embedding accessibility in our processes, design, even in design, coding, and review. And I think that the road to a more accessible model is never ending, because there's always something, well, first, model is massive, there's, and there's always something that um, we can improve. And it's just not about meeting the success criteria. And even if this is the case, I think it will just keep getting better over time. So thank you so much.